The Supreme Court has said no cross the board guidelines for media and it has to be decided on case to case basis. Supreme Court has also said certain cases may warrant delaying publishing of certain news items and has also maintained a journal should know the Lakshman Rekha in reporting. Today the Supreme Court gave its judgment on the case regarding media guidelines. The Supreme Court has held that uh, while no such general guidelines can, can be issued regarding how the media should report matters or not, uh, not report matters, etc. But they have laid down one principle that it is, uh, it is uh, possible and legal for at least the High Courts and the Supreme Court to restrain the media from publishing anything on certain matters which are pending before the court if the affected party makes a complaint to the High Court or the Supreme Court and the court feels that in that case a restraint on the media is necessary to protect the right to life of that applicant. In such cases also the restriction should be imposed uh, rarely and for a limited duration of time. But they have held that it is possible and legal for the Supreme Court and the High Court to restrain them from reporting on particular cases. Sir, but does it mean we will not delay the trial? No, no, no. They have said that uh, in order to ensure that the trial uh -huh. proceeds freely without being influenced by media reporting, in occasional cases, in extreme cases where the court feels that uh, at least a temporary restraint on the media is necessary for ensuring a free and fair trial and for protecting the right to life of the applicant, then they can impose a prior but, restraint. But, but accused can immediately come to the High Court or Supreme Court just to stop the whole... Uh... Yes, there is always a danger. You see, this issue of prior restraint is a complex issue. Therefore, I am not commenting on the correctness of this judgment or the public interest which may or may not be served by this judgment until I go through this entire judgment. But this appears to be the judgment of the court. Well, my colleague Minakshi joins us uh, on the phone line right now. Minakshi, uh, first break down this judgment for us and does the Supreme Court judgment open up Pandora's box when it says that uh, one could now approach appropriate courts if you want to delay publishing of certain news items? Yes, absolutely. That is a concern which is being expressed in certain sections of the media. But be that as it may, what essentially the Supreme Court constitutional bench has tried to uh, sort of like formulate is a fine balancing act. Now let's bear in mind the fact that a provision of this nature where a reasonable restraint has been sought on the media has been in existence uh, for a while now. We have seen in certain high-profile matters like the Nira Radia case, or uh, for that instance, a few other cases uh, where we have seen the aggrieved parties uh, move forward and seek injunctions or temporary directions on the telecast of certain portions which they felt uh, were uh, perhaps prejudicial to the trial process. Uh, so that provision has already uh, been in existence in our um, uh, in our uh, criminal jurisprudence or in our jurisprudence, uh, 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 be that as it may. But essentially what the court today has done is that it has again given its stamp of approval to the balancing act of the freedom of press along with the implementation of justice. The court has tried to uh, bear in mind that the societal interest right, including the doctrine of uh, is something which has to be borne in mind. Back to you.